Now we're going to move swiftly on to do a Strath's Bay. And I'd like to change register for this again uh, to my master, which is all four reeds that I have in this accordion. It's a four voice accordion, all those reeds playing together. You can actually get five voice accordions with five blocks of reeds. Reminds of four, and the master is all of them in together, and it sounds like this. It's quite a big rich sound. And I'm also going to use the full register on my left hand, which is that one there. Uh, the light sound sounds like this. And the full heavy sound. Because the next tune I'm going to play is a Strath Spay. And so I want a big, uh, powerful sound for it. Strath Spays are tunes which are peculiar to Scotland. And this is called Captain Campbell. And I'll play it for you now. That's another two part tune, so not too much to learn. So let's play the A part slowly, section by section. <laughs> There's quite a lot in there, let's hear that again. And the next section. Back to the first section. And back to the second section. And that's all there is to the A part. The B part goes up an octave. repeats the same first bit. Then it has a completely different ending. Let's hear that B part all together because it's a little bit more complicated. accompaniment and I'm once again doing quite a traditional style of playing and it's basically in A minor I'm using G and G major quite a lot as well let's have a listen to the first part <laughs> that's just A minor then to G major nothing complicated there G major to E minor and A minor. Let's listen to that again. And now the B part. the same. The ending, I'm just putting in an extra chord, A minor, G, C. I 
I was playing block chords there. You could either play block chords if you want a more emphatic finish, or just play the note followed by the chord, same as uh, the rest of the tune. I'll leave it up to you. <laughs> Let's hear the whole tune all together. Captain Campbell. Well, we've covered quite a range of different styles, and uh, I think that's given you quite a good grounding in the different aspects of Scottish melodies. But to finish off the video, I'd like to concentrate on something which people are always asking me to show them, which is how to play burls or triplets. There's quite a variety of ways to play triplets, and I'm going to demonstrate by using the concertina reel. And I'll put it on the single read so that you can hopefully hear the triplets very clearly.